right so you've got your tiny bike kit you want to solder it up but there's so many tiny bits well have no fear I'm going to show you how. first off clear some space you want to concentrate on this bad boy basically what I want to do all these nice shiny gold pads I'll put a tiny bit of solder on each one of those just so that the solder they're ready for when we attach the pie now the best way of doing that is to get yourself a nice clean solder iron tip this doesn't look all that clean right now but it's clean enough and basically if we just pop a few blobs of solder on some of these pads now you don't want to go too crazy because too much solder will be a bad thing you can get yourself a little bit of a flux pen nice bit of flux just to help things move and then get your iron and just spread that salt out doesn't sound the best but in a nice even coverage of all that solder Now you've done that, you just want to be super careful and check just to make sure there's no shorts between any of these pads because a short here means a short later on, and that's not something we want. Also, make sure they're all nice and shiny, a nice tiny bit of solder on each one, all like that. So, next thing we do, a bit more flux. This will help the solder melt in a minute. We want the pile on there. But we're going to need to clamp it down because that's going to move around. So I use some M2.5 screws because they just fit in the holes nicely. Hold it all together. But you can use whatever you want. Use some clamps or anything you like. You can use a clothes pack if uh, that's what you've got to hand. So get that one tightened. Should really get some shorter screws. solder it the wrong way. Now basically all you need to do is go down each one of these pins and fill it with solder. So get a nice clean solder down again. Now I found the best way of this is to push the solder into the hole before you can get the iron near it. Then touch it with the iron and gently push a little bit of solder in. Now I keep the iron on there just for two or three seconds just to make sure that solder is melted and the solder below is melted. So we just need to repeat that 39 more times for the, the old pins. Now technically speaking not each one of these pins is used. There are some spare unused ones and I can, if anybody wants it, give you a list of which are used and which are not. But as this is the only thing that holds the pie to the back of the screen, it's probably best just to do them all, just for that added strength. Yeah. I'm sure we can fast forward this part of the video, because this is the boring part. Watching me solder 40 little pins. You, know, you can always 
clean your iron off. Make sure you keep it nice and shiny. Good iron means good solder. And watch out for those fumes as well. Don't go breathing all those in. Don't want you dying before you have a chance to play with your tiny pie. Now. Last few, sorry. One more left. Yeah, right there. Right. What I like to do is just get a bit more flux on the wood and then just go over those with a nice clean tip just to make sure. They're all nice and neatly soldered. It's probably more for looks than anything. But it's done me well, so why not recommend it? And you may also notice things like that. With that one there just hasn't quite filled up enough. I'll put a spot more in there. So you're aiming for all these to just be nicely nicely shiny domes. They technically don't need to be filled. 
long as there's enough contact between the pin and the pad beneath. But we may as well make it look good if we're making it work good. Aren't we? There's a couple more that need a spot more so that so there we have it so that's the the pie attached to the board that's step one complete really do need shorter screws Now that's done, we can move on to the next bit.